Hello, this is Mahesh Ravi here and in this video we're going to take a look at what exactly is glass morphism and how we can create a glass morphic effect simply using Canva. So let's take a look at what exactly is glass morphism. So glass morphism is a um, new trend in graphic design where um, there'll be a lot of reflective material, there'll be a lot of translucent material which is used in as a design um, feature. So if you go and check for glass morphism, you can see a lot of work like this. So this is currently very trending and even Windows, the new upcoming Windows 11 is using that uh, glass morphic effect in their OS. So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create the same effect by using uh, a free tool called Canva. So let's go into Canva. So here I am in Canva right now. I'm going to create a design. So I just clicked on create a new design and chose an Instagram post and we have a square document right here. So Canva is a fairly easy document to learn. So I'm not going to go deeper into the tools and things like that. So the first thing that I'm going to try and do is to create a background. So I need a background image to work with. Canva usually supports, um, you know, Canva has a collection, a huge library of images. So if you can go to photos, you can keep searching um, here for images. So you can use a keyword, a lot of images is going to pop up like this. So I'm going to choose an image from this list here. So let's take an image and I'm going to use this image. Yeah, so I'm going to just zoom, uh, I'm going to scale this image to fit into our composition. So we have something like this and it is looking pretty cool. What we need to do is to create a glass morphic um, layer on top of this. So to do that, you can go to elements here and I'm going to take a photo placeholder. So if we scroll down in the elements, you can see frames. So frames are basically placeholders for images. So I'm going to select a placeholder. So we have a placeholder like this. You can increase your size uh, if you want, when you're working on it, you can use this to zoom in and zoom out of your work. So I'm going to just choose this right now to view the screen. And I have this placeholder uh, into which I can add an image. So I'm going to take the same image that we have used in the background and add it here. So to do that, I just want to go back to elements, right? And click on the image that we have used and drag it into the placeholder. So now you can see that I have the same image here in this placeholder as well. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to scale it up so that it basically fits, um, you know, somewhat fits the background images dimension, right? It doesn't have to be very accurate because, you know, we are not going to leave it like this. We need to create a glassy effect here. So the next step that I'm going to try and do is I'm going to select this placeholder. I will go to adjust and I will increase the blur value of this image. Right? So I'm going to just raise it up. So you can see now uh, we have sort of a glassy layer on top of it and it's sort of blurry. We can sort of see the ocean in the background, but it's blurred. This is an effect which is achieved by dropping the same image here and applying that blur effect on this layer. So it's almost there, but we are not done yet. We need to add a little more detail here to make it a little more realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the placeholder. So to do that, you can just hold Control D and we'll duplicate the placeholder. So I have it like this. Let's keep it right here for the time being. Now what I need is I need an image, a glass texture image to put it on top of this. So I have downloaded an image from the internet, which looks sort of like this. I need to use this in here. So to do that, I'm going to take that image, drag it into our scene. It's going to load right there. Now, once it is loaded, you can drag and drop it into our second placeholder. So we have it right here. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just drag it and place it exactly on top of our first placeholder. Now we have it set, but right now it's only showing the image on top of it, right? So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to the transparency settings. I'm going to reduce the transparency of it so that we can see through that effect. And if you zoom in, you can see that there is that glass texture effect on top of this. And, you know, through that, we could see the background as well. Now we can add, uh, you know, 
text or whatever elements that you want into it. So I'm going to go to text. I'm going to take a um, simple text here. And let's let's type in a code. Uh, for instance. So there we go. We have a simple glass morphic effect achieved by a very simple tutorial and you can do this for free on Canva. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you with another video soon. Till then.